If you're looking for the best, Cement Mixer here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Yardmax Y Mo 115 4.0 cubic foot concrete mixer. Setup time and cleanup time are very necessary activities on the job site. The problem is that they aren't directly productive. So the less time you spend on them, the more you can get done in a day. The Yardmax cement mixer is a huge time saver and possible the best. First of all, setup time of this cement mixer is minimal, only 30 minutes for one person. Cleanup ain't too shabby either, with a very quick rinse out followed by disassembly. If your site is secure, you can even skip the disassembly part, but not the rinse out part. The reason for the easy cleanup is the solid steel construction on the mixing drum. It resists the sticky, partially dried residue left by cement. It also resists scuffing and denting, which would otherwise create little valleys and gouges where material can settle and accumulate. A few little squirts from the hose loosens up the crud and gets it out of there. Assembly is made easier by the all-in-one motor unit that's put together at the factory. The rest of the assembly process involves building the frame and attaching the axle and wheels, the motor and controls, and the drum. It's a 30-minute job, or less than one person. All the parts to be assembled are light enough for one person to lift and align. No helpers needed. The motor and gearbox is I-45 rated for resistance to all sorts of conditions, from dry and dusty to rainy and even a direct smackdown from a hose at low pressure. If a portable cement mixer is a new addition to your equipment roster, chances are you don't have anyone who's an expert at using one. No worry, because this is probably the best choice out there for use by newbies. The Yardmax's exclusive safety guard encloses the ring and pinion gear to protect operators. The spring-loading handle is easy to use with no sudden and unexpected motions. When the operator has the drum positioned where he or she wants it and tipped at the preferred angle, a steel ring locks it into place. Then it's a simple matter of shoveling or pouring the wet cement onto a wheelbarrow or other transporting device to take to the spot where it's needed. While the mixer is rated at 4.0 cubic feet of cement, that should be the rarely used absolute maximum you would want to have in there at one time. It's highly recommended to mix just one 80-pound bag of dry cement mix at a time. You can do two bags, but for the longest durability of the motor and gearbox, don't do too very often. The warranty on this cement mixer is two years if used in a residential setting, one year if used in a commercial setting. How they determine the usage type is not known. All in all, the best cement mixer on the market in terms of price, performance, and reliability. Moving on to the next at number two with Sanku 5 QFT cement mixer. It's no small task, turning a steel drum full of rocks sand, cement, and water over and over. A cement mixer has to operate, mechanically, like a front-loading washing machine on steroids. And it's not only the gross weight of all those ingredients, but the constant tumbling and morphing of that weight that puts a lot of stress on the motor and gears. If you settle for a portable cement mixer with a wimpy motor, you'll hear about it sooner rather than later. A groan, a grind and thump, and you've got a worn out motor. Everything else about the mixer may be in fine shape. But without a motor, you've got metallic junk. The expense of replacing the motor might nearly add up to the cost of a totally new mixer. Easily, the best feature about the Sunku Cement Mixer is its 4 5 horsepower, 600 watt high performance motor that turns the drum at 23 RPM to thoroughly mix every last speck of gray dust. The high number of revolutions mean you're ready to pour much quicker than with a lesser unit. The drum turns smoothly and evenly, avoiding dead spots where the mix just slides sideways and doesn't tumble. The motor housing is shielded against rain and splashes, and the on-off switch has a waterproof cover over it. If you're going to have a heavy-duty motor, you need heavy-duty gears and inertia transferring mechanisms, and the Sunco has that. Tempered steel gears can take whatever the motor dishes out, turning the drum slip free through its revolutions. The drum itself and the frame are made from CE Asterisk Certified Industrial Grade Steel. Asterisk CE Certified is a declaration from the manufacturer that the product meets the requirements of applicable directives. In this case, CE actually refers to EC, an abbreviation of European Conformity. In the USA, OSHA accepts EC standards as viable for strength and durability. 
The handle is more like a captain's wheel, allowing the user to tilt the drum to any angle desired. It also serves as a safety feature to guard against sudden shifts of material within the drum. The cement mixer sits low, making it easy to use when filling wheelbarrows or buckets, and with a rugged frame and sturdy, soft rubber wheels, this unit is easy to move from place to place on the construction site. The listed capacity for this model is 5 cubic feet, but as with any of the cement mixers on our list, you really want to stay significantly lower than that for best efficiency and longest life. Two 80-pound bags of cement should be your maximum, but technically, you could go higher. The total maximum weight, including water and dry mix, is 270 pounds. You can mix stucco and mortar in this unit, and it has agricultural applications for seed and fertilizer mixing. Overall, one of the best cement mixers on the market with a boatload of features and a fairly large capacity. The number three position is held by Sunku 4.2Q, Ford Cement Mixer. With a few exceptions, the Sunku Cement Mixer is the same cement mixer as the 5.0 cubic foot mixer listed above. It has a 4.2 cubic foot capacity, a three-quarter horsepower motor, and a straight handle rather than a wheel-type handle. Other than a few cosmetic differences, it's just a smaller version of the other one. As with its bigger brother, the motor is the star of the show. The motor is plenty powerful enough to turn the drum at around 36 or PMS, even when it's fully loaded. The safety lock ensures no surprises, and the barrel can be tilted with ease to whatever angle the user prefers. Something that's often overlooked by folks shopping for portable cement mixers is frame strength. Somehow, motor size and drum capacity seem to be all that matters to them, but the frame supports everything that goes on with this product, and if it's not strong enough to handle the load, you're asking for trouble down the road. Sometimes, the biggest load to bear isn't the drum tumbling with all that water and cement in it, but that sudden smash of an 80-pound sack of concrete on the lip of the drum, followed by the worker slashing open the paper bag and dumping the contents into the drum. If the drum isn't rigid enough, it can sustain a bent opening, or in a worst-case scenario, a damaged or broken axle in support. The legs of house frame and wheels also have to hold up to this kind of pounding, and if they're not strong enough, they can sag or partially collapse the way a giraffe spreads its legs at the watering hole. Sunku products, certainly their line of portable cement mixers, are built to tough standards, recognized internationally by several standards commissions. So there's something to keep in mind. Next at number four, we have Goplus 2.2Q, Ford Cement Mixer. If you don't need a behemoth cement mixer with a huge capacity that forces you to work longer than what you had intended to, then don't buy one. The thing with large capacity mixers is if you have a drum full of wet cement, you have to use it all or it will set up. You can't go, well, that's enough for today and turn the unit off and walk away. You'll come back to a mixer with a drum that has a paved road inside of it. So know your project, small project equals small mixer. If you think you may have larger projects in the future, then get a larger mixer. But as much as you can, match the mixer to the project. The Goplus 2.2 cubic foot mixer is just the right size for small to medium projects. It has a half horsepower motor that turns the drum at 27.5 RPMS and safety features that protect novice users and old pros alike. While the mixer is strong, it's incredibly lightweight. It weighs a mere 55 pounds. It rolls easily on its two rubber wheels and slips into places where larger machines dare not tread. On the job side, there are plenty of danger zones, like a makeshift bridge that crosses a sea of mud, where a lightweight machine can be a lifesaver when you're making a hazardous crossing. The number five position is held by Kushlin 3500D Direct Drive Cement Mixer. All of the previous portable cement mixers have offset motors and gearboxes to transfer the rotating motion from the motor armature to the mixing drum. For larger mixers, 4.0 cubic feet and greater, it was pretty much necessary to do it that way. Otherwise, it would be too taxing on the motor. But for smaller mixers, like this Kushlin product cement mixer, there's another option. It's called direct drive, where the rotating armature within the magnetic fields of the motor is directly connected to a shaft, which is then directly connected to the drum. Mounted on a frame with two long handles and two wheels, you essentially end up with a wheelbarrow that churns its own butter, okay, cement. This model comes highly rated on a number of best of lists due to its amazing portability. First off, it's lightweight, just 96 pounds. 
So while you have that going for you, you're also getting a boost from the oversized. Spoked wheels, so rolling this around uneven terrain is quite manageable. You'll be rolling this baby into pretty much any spot a wheelbarrow can get to. For the model's overall size, 43 inches by 25 inches by 43 inches, that 75 horsepower motor is very generous, especially in its direct drive orientation. The drum is not steel, but high-grade polyethylene capable of taking a scuff or scrape without getting all bent out of shape. Now, about the capacity. The Kushlin is rated at a 3.5 cubic foot capacity. But as we've mentioned time and again with the other units, don't push that figure. It's especially important with this one because its main advantage is portability and weighting the mixer down with extra cement defeats the purpose. You can dispense the wet cement two ways, one, by directly pouring it into the mold from the mixer, or two, offloading it onto a wheelbarrow. The second option will require some creative thinking because the Kushlin mixer sits a little low. If your plan is to dump the cement from the drum into the basin of the wheelbarrow, you can always shovel it from one to the other, but that's no fun. It's not ready to use right out of the box. There's quite a bit of assembly required, but once it's put together, it's good to go from then on. The number six position is dominated by Wheelbarrow Cement Mixer 8Q. For this is a fantastic portable cement mixer, but it's missing something, a 6'5". 270 pound former defensive tackle named Lars to wheel it around on the job site. Okay, it's not that bad, but this is definitely a serious piece of equipment. It's recommended that you only transport these portable cement mixers while they're empty, but it is possible to move the smaller ones around with a bit of a load inside the drum. With this one, though, no purse, it pretty much needs to be empty. That's because this bad boy has an eight cubic foot capacity. That's nearly 580 pound bags of dry cement and water, but don't. That's just crazy talk. Do take advantage of the unit's incredible overall capacity to cut big jobs down to size. Fill it to a level you or your employee feels comfortable with and plan to get done ahead of schedule. This is a direct drive unit without an offset gearbox, so that cuts down on the overall weight of the unit. It's just a wee bit underpowered with a half horsepower motor, but the simplicity of design and function helps it all work out pretty well. The drum turns at just 23 RPM, so that also helps take a load off the motor. The wheels are solid rubber. It's a toss up as to whether solid rubber tires or inflatable would be best with this hefty unit. But there have been no reported issues with the solid tires. At least you won't be struck with a flat tire. The frame is strong with heavy gauge steel and cross bracing and the too sure grip handles feel good in your hand. The handlebars are adjustable Moving on to the next at number 7 with Stark 5 Coup. Ford Cement Mixer. Not all portable cement mixers roll like a shopping cart with a broken wheel. The Stark Cement Mixer, however, rolls really well and shouldn't be a burden for anyone. It could be the way the wheels are well forward of the center of gravity or the no-nonsense framework that distributes the weight properly and predictably. Product literature recommends using this only on paved or packed down surfaces but you should be okay on surfaces that are slightly bumpy or uneven. This isn't a dinky tool. It's got a five cubic foot capacity on the drum and a half horsepower motor. Since it's direct drive, you're spared the weight of extra gear teeth and power transfer mechanisms. So it all adds up to supreme mobility for this mixer. The operator handle is a little bit low tech compared to some of the other units on the list, but it gets the job done and the safety locks prevent unwanted spills and slashes. You can mix cement, of course, but also bulkier mixes like stucco and mortar. Farmers can use this for seed and fertilizer mixing. The drum is high grade steel. It can take a little abuse. This is not an item you would want to leave out in the rain. While construction is tight and the design lends itself to rapid shedding of water, the motor and wiring components are by no means waterproof or even water resistant. So get it out of the rain as soon as you can and you'll be fine. By the same token, take precautions during cleanup to keep from spraying directly on the motor housing. Some assembly is required, but it's not a major project. You can probably get it all put together and ready to go in 45 minutes or less. The number eight position is held by Nordstrand Pro Cement Mixing Tool. This is listed as a mixing paddle, but it's more of an auger. Regardless of the nomenclature, the Nordstrand Paddle Mixer does a great job of whipping up a batch of wet cement in any container you want to use. As with the mixer above, it's for very small jobs, but on an infrequent basis, it can be counted on to do much more. 
It certainly is the chops to do more than just occupy a shelf in the garage or in the shop. In addition to cement, it can mix mortar, plaster, paint, glue, and adhesives. It has a heavy-duty motor with six speeds for the various consistencies of the mixed products. It is not for heavy, dense blends of cement or concrete with rocks, and it's recommended primarily for thin-set mortar. But other than that, it can handle just about anything. The handles are ergonomically designed for a firm hull that doesn't hurt the hand. The trigger can be locked into place for continuous operation, which is a great defense against carpal tunnel syndrome. It's considerably heavier than the above unit, weighing in at 11 pounds and change. But with the ergonomic design, the weight is easily manipulated. The rod, which can be extended to a maximum of 24 inches, is strong and sturdy, and the tines are tuned to achieve maximum blending. Next at number 9, we have Kushlin 600DD Concrete Wheelbarrow Mixer. Talking of cement mixer, Kushlin is presenting a very mobile concept of cement mixer with its wheelbarrow mixer. The cement is built in the form of a wheelbarrow only that instead of having the usual space of wheelbarrow, it has a mixing drum instead. This makes it ideal for professionals as well as dyers. The mixer has heavy gauge steel handles supported by polyurethane flat free tires. The drums are made of polyethylene making resistant to rust, cracks, and dents. The mixer is also CSA. C and UL approved. Despite its build, the mixer still packs a powerful punch with its 3 4 HP electric motor that can give you 28 RPM. Additionally, the drum has a 6 cubic feet capacity that is able to hold about 4 bags of Premix concrete weighing 8 ohms each. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Sunku 2.5 QFT electric cement mixer. For its versatility, the Sunku cement mixer finds its way into our list. Talking of a durable and portable mixer suitable for mixing concrete, stucco, and mortar as well as mixing animal feeds and seed inoculation. The body is made of industrial grade steel and CE certified making it an ideal tool to use on the farm and construction site. One cool feature to take home with the Sanku mixer is its inertial stirring completing a 360 ohm mixing driven by top notch motor equipped with a copper coil to give you greater power and efficiency. The mixer wheels give it stability with its shockproof and load-bearing features. In addition to that, the mixer inner wall is thickened to provide better safety and load-bearing capacity. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.